Are you suffering from shoulder pain from a car accident or another type of injury? If so, stay tuned. This video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Algar with Discover Chiropractic. It may surprise you to learn that shoulder injuries, just like whiplash injuries, are some of the most common challenges that people face after a car accident. If you're driving and have your hands on the steering wheel at the time of the accident, those forces created by the accident can result in a torn rotator cuff. Your shoulder is one of the most dynamic and unstable joints in your body. and It's also one of the most, the most complex parts. It's made up of a collection of bones, ligaments, tendons, and muscles. It's the rotator cuff in your shoulders, just like a ball and socket joint. It's made up of three bones. So number one, you have your arm bone or the humerus. Number two, your shoulder blade or the scapula in the back. And then number three, your collar bone or the clavicle in the front. The supporting muscles, ligaments, and tendons in your shoulder are designed to help you lift and rotate your arm with a massive range of motion. It's hard to ignore a torn rotator cuff because it hurts. Signs of a tear include pain when lifting your arm, weakness, pain when lying down, even a limited range of motion. Ignoring a shoulder injury after an accident is not a good idea. Your shoulder is designed to move, and if you try to let it heal by not moving it, you're just putting yourself at risk for a frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder or, or adhesive cap capsulitis results from adhesions that develop in the shoulder due to a lack of movement. It can cause severe pain and it can take months to heal. Needless to say, if you experience shoulder pain after an accident, time is of the essence. Our team is here. We can provide a complete evaluation and a treatment plan using some of the latest technology for you to help get, get your, your arm moving again, your shoulder moving again safely and heal quickly. Just give us a call. We'd love to answer any questions and see what we can do for you. Next week, we're going to talk about how to put together the right team to recover from an injury. We'll see you then.